Hey, Matt Jackson. Hey, Gary. Today we're camping. We are. We're camping. This is the 20th November Fest No Vowels for the Austin Air Coolers VW Gang Austin Chapter. No Vowels. No Vowels in November Fest. It's a beautiful day out here on the lake, and uh, we figured for today's video, we'll just walk around and talk to everybody. Yeah, because we have uh, 13, 14. 13, 14 VWs. With one more coming. Yep. So, so uh, let's go talk to everybody. Let's do, let's do that. It'll be fun. I'm here with the Mo Ro and Mo, tell us about your awesome Westie. I have had it for 30 years. I've just got it back on the road after a five year hiatus. I've had the engine out, I've had the transmission partially out, I've had the front end apart. I've put probably 25 miles on it getting it here. If that, he lives if across that. the street from where we're camping. This is what your model? Uh, 1966 Westphalia. And it has been thoroughly modified through the years. And it's definitely uh, the, to the owner's previous taste. It had like off-road mud tires on it. Awesome. Uh, it's got dual right and left emergency brakes. Even for better. Being in the mud. It had a special roof rack for carrying a flat bottom boat on. It's really good in the mud. Yeah. I right hear. It's awesome for mud. And, well, this is, <laughs> this, this is the coolest thing about this is, is how uh, it, it is original SO42 yep. with the pop top. So we re, that's really cool. Original color. Does it have a name? Happy. Happy. Named after my dad's dog. Yeah. Happy. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Mauro. Right, well, everybody, we are here live and nationwide with Alice and Hugo. Hey! Alice, tell us about Hugo. Well, we already kind of met Hugo before. Hugo is an 82 diesel uh, Westie. And uh, I love this guy. He moves a little slower than I'd like. Really? But, uh, yeah, I know it's hard to believe. Yeah, it is. That's shocking. But, uh, you know, he doesn't have a turbo or anything, but he gets me where I need to go and gives me a two-bedroom home on wheels. So what else could you ask That's for? That's all you need, right? That's it. All right. What they say, business in the front and party up top. <laughs> We are here with Doug. Doug. Dougie Doug, Doug, Doug. Doug, tell us about your bus. What's its name? This is the trailer special. The trailer special. And why in the world is it trailer special? It could be because it used to be a trailer. Ah, it yes. It spent countless years of its life as a trailer. Now it has been transformed into a running and driving camper. And the coolest thing about what we're, we're hanging out with Doug is every time we see him, he's done more work to it, truly. Because you guys have seen this in a previous episode. And, uh, but uh, he was showing me today, he, uh, he's getting ready to weld on some of the uh, back fenders. Yeah, so, getting the, the wheel wells done. Wheel wells, um, yep. cut, cut out one side, got the other piece ready to go. So he's making great headway um, with it. Since the great unveiling, got new door panels, new seals on the doors, both sides. Otherwise, driving and enjoying, yep. which is an awesome feeling to finally get something on the road. Yep, it's great. We're glad to have Doug and, and the Trailer Special rolling with us tonight awesome. here at the November Fest. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> Enjoy. We're here with the famous uh, Old Volks TV, oh, Mr. Jason. He's all nervous because he's not holding the camera. Jason, tell us about uh, Charlie. Uh, it's a 1972 Ford Econoline van. <laughs> Jackass. It's a 66 Riviera camper. Uh, Just a 66 Riv, that's all. Typical, awesome. other than Westie camper, mostly original, but with some, you know, tasteful upgrades. Yeah, I like the know, Romance Center. To make it more mm -hmm. effective for camping. It is a camping machine, we love it. It's uh, It's been to a lot of places for sure. Yes. Driven back from Portland, uh, when we bought it, we drove it back from Portland most of the way. We almost made it, I had to rent a U-Haul truck. And then uh, since then, I've driven it to Arizona, went to New Mexico. You probably saw that one if you watched this channel before. Um, there's another channel that has a video on that too. I can't remember the name though right now. Uh, As I said earlier, jackass. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun and we like hanging out with this group. Everybody, yes. everybody gets along well and we have a good time and it, it's just pretty sweet. It is, can't, November can't, Fest. Can't go wrong with a camp out with uh, this, what's the Texas Junk Kings. Yeah, can't, can't yeah, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woohoo! Yes, in Volks America. And make a comment and like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Tell all your aunts. Uh, we're here with El Bretto. El Bretto, uh, tell us about pudding. Oh, That's shit. What I, <laughs> I didn't know you were going to put me on the spot. I don't know what to say about <laughs> well, it. Well, it's a Volkswagen. There she is. There is it's a Volkswagen. What year is pudding? 70. 70. Oh, that was a great year. I remember it well. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, so you are just reaching your teens. Oh, I was. I was just reaching my teens. As you can tell, El Bredo takes life way too serious. <laughs> I will walk you around pudding. Yeah, go ahead. 
So the best the best thing about Puddin was the time we went camping in Big Ben and the whole time the sliding door didn't work. We were worried it's gonna fall off. So watching El Bredo and <laughs> climb out the back every time. <laughs> Him and Andrew. That was classic. But this is a true camping machine. It was custom built and uh, got a great little 1776 and uh, El Bredo and obviously uh, you can see it has kind of a, a, a tapioca look so that's why its name's Puddin. It's awesome. We love Puddin. Best name ever. All right everybody we're here with Mark and Mark tell us about Penny. Well this is a 19.7 split window. Uh, from what I could tell it's an OTW. It's not a Westie. It's an o other than Westies, what they call it. Yeah. So the bed actually folds out this way. Oh wow, that's you cool. You know, makes a twin bed. Of course, I've been working on the interior myself. Uh, the headliner material and all the door panels I did myself. That's burned awesome. The wife helped out. Was it's actually her bus wherever she's. Taking it, it is out. her bus, isn't it? Yeah, she's taking it out. Uh huh. So this is Penny. Uh, Why the name Penny? Why? Uh huh. Well, maybe because of copper, and then because she cost me a pretty penny too. <laughs> She cost me a pretty penny too. First November press, so hey! made it official. We're so glad you're here, man. Well, I appreciate the invite. And, and glad Penny's here. Yeah. Gentle Grabber Mafia. Yeah. I go. just put disc brake conversion on the front. On, on the And that was one of the best investments I made on this bus. Besides yeah. the interior, of course. And she is running a set my focus supplies. Uh oh. Package 1776. 1776. 1776. Got a Jean Bird pulley, dual cads. You know, giving it the love that it deserves, you know. Awesome. Thanks for bringing Penny, buddy. Lord Almighty, <laughs> feel my temperature rising. Higher and higher, it's burning through to my soul. Well, hi. Well, hello, Elvis. Well, hi. Oh, excuse me. Well, excuse me. Well, we're here with Derek. We'll bring you here. Thank you for uh, uh, your time and your serenading us there. No problem. That was beautiful. My friends have fleas. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, and so do our dogs. Tell us about what in the world we're uh, sitting in front of here. Male specimen? <laughs> oh, you mean the van again. <laughs> what you got here is a 1987 uh, Volkswagen Vanagon with the full Westphalia uh, camper conversion converted in uh, the motherland. That would be fatherland. Motherland would be Russia. The fatherland. Yes. Oh. Oh, okay. In the Deutschland. In the, in the Deutschland. Yeah, that's perfect German. Yeah. In the Deutschland. Westphalia, yes. they say. Well, it's a camping machine. It's a little bit messy says. at the moment because we've had a bunch of child activity, which we don't discourage, but we do discourage a little bit, I guess. That's what happens mean? when you have those. Does this bus have a name? It does. It's, uh, it's old and it's gray. It's old Greg. Do you love me? <laughs> Do you think you can love me? Would you like some berries? Cut! 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 If you've ever owned a van again, you know it's a love-hate relationship. Oh, that, and that, well, or if you've ever followed a van again all the way across Texas in yeah. the middle of the summer. Right. You know, this one, thank goodness, isn't diesel. Okay, so quick story. This guy usually is supposed to join us for Big Ben, but for some reason, Never something happened. always happens. Oh, my engine blew up, yeah. or oh, I've got a water leak. No. It's always something. It is, but this year. <laughs> yeah. This year. <laughs> Otherwise, pretty stock setup here, you it's know. awesome. It comes with the leaves from the factory in Deutschland. And this is amazing. This is the big dog. Yeah, uh, Fiamma awning, but uh, you didn't use it today. No, it's, it's just not. not it's not perfect. hot. It's yeah. not raining. Yeah. It's just nice weather. You kind of want to be out in it. How long is this one? It's eleven and a half feet long and comes out eight feet. This is really nice. This is this is a nice nice addition right here. Fiamma, these are awesome. I had one on my old van again. Bolts up really easily, and so easy to put up. Not the cheapest thing, man. When you want coverage, I don't like when my awning stops right here. <laughs> I like it to go all over from the nose to the, to the aft. Aft, as we say. Thank you, sir. Any time. Get... <laughs> that was the most bizarre of all of them well, so far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody, 
everybody. We are here with Bela and the Banana Boat. Bela, tell us about the Banana Boat. You guys have seen this before on Big Bend Bus Bash. I guess I've had it about six, seven years. Only got it because a fellow air cooler, air cooler brother, went over and put the deposit down on it for me. Looked at it, sent me videos, and up in Dallas area, and just it was it was running barely. We cleaned the interior, put the put the fake wood flooring in there, and tuned the engine up. New tires, all that junk. But Good to that, go. Yeah, other than that, it's just been... It's a running machine. This running thing machine. just goes down the highway like nothing you've ever seen. I thought this is... Oh, this is always one of, my, this is my, one of my favorite things about this is the Westy Bicentennial. Yeah. It's a camping machine. Yeah. It really it's is. sewed the top just on a standard sewing machine, like the Sunbrella you, material. Yeah. Yeah. You made the top, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I made the front window, and after the front window, I decided I'm not making any more windows. <laughs> <laughs> one window's plenty. <laughs> That's so. awesome. Oh, I love this bus. It's so cool. Yeah, it's been on every every Big Ben bus right. bash so far. So keeps rolling down the highway, keeps man. Just keep putting oil in it. And that's all you got to do. That's all you got to. Oh, you gotta, you these things keep. need oil. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting about that. Keep Thank the you, sir. radiator cool. But radiator. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here with Chad, and this is Chad and his Vanagon. And Chad, tell us about your Vanagon. Uh, we got a '91 Vanagon Westphalia outfit. We got a Subaru. Subaru engine, Subaru conversion. We got solar as well. Pretty happy with it. It's pretty decked out. Awesome. So, yeah, you can go. It. You can live off the road for off the grid. Yeah, we for a uh, while. we got an oversized propane tank. We got put in. Yeah, it's uh, it's got this thermostat which we hooked up, which is under the trunk, fr uh, the truck fridge. Right. So we can run heat when it's cold. Uh, yeah. Obviously, it's hot as here. But, <laughs> right. But, um, yeah, we love it. It's the best thing for my boys. I got a little one as well, and that's awesome. Him, so. It's wonderful. Well, thanks for showing it to us yeah. and for being here. Yeah, thank you guys. This thing is decked out. We got the cool. Look at the Go Westy uh, uh, table here on the back. Those got good, uh, proud sponsors of the VW Harvest. Thank the guys at Go Westy. Awesome rack built in. Look at the cool bumper with the built-in receiver. This thing is decked out, man. He's got it set. The ultimate camping machine. <laughs> So we're here with uh, Bill and Bill. Oh, Bill, tell us about your Westie. Well, this is uh, Sandy the bus. Sandy is uh, 1979. I uh, bought it from someone in my neighborhood and when I got it, uh, the previous owner liked to take it to the beach and it was full of sand <laughs> and he said he had cleaned it out, but I just found sound everywhere, <laughs> in and out, you know, and so we uh, just been cleaning it up and and y'all are new upholstery and new top and yeah y'all did the seats you, you and yeah. your wife did the seats and yeah. did such a great job on that and just i mean i know from experience that a 79 westy p38 like this is the ultimate volkswagen camper yeah period. i love it it's, yeah it's, it's got it's, two yeah. liters fuel injected yeah, it's just, rides great yeah, yeah. It just it'll, it keeps up with traffic and it's a pop top and you got a sink got a stove if you need it, it even has a fridge if you need it i mean and it's just these things are amazing so bill i know sandy and y'all man y'all been camping a lot in it too yeah since you got it going yeah we got we went our first time out father's day weekend and it was like 104 degrees it was pretty <laughs> miserable so this is very very nice camping this yeah. weekend. Well, Sandy's awesome, and it's Mexico Bay. Yeah, one of the best colors ever. And we're here with the Mr. Mark Westman. Mark, tell us about your beetle. Well, I acquired this from a guy that was uh, had some medical bills, and I had just uh, sold a a orange and white bug that I had. And it was a piece of crap. I paid seventy five dollars for that bug, and this one I paid a little bit more than that for. But uh, some lady wanted to buy my $75 bug, so I, I, I sold it to her, and I sold it for 500 bucks. Uh, so I made a little bit of money. Percentage-wise, it was a very good deal. Uh, <laughs> I, I got this, and it was, when I went to test drive it, the guy's like, oh, you can't really drive it because the brakes don't work. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, they lock up. I'm like, okay, I understand, but let me just, you know, drive it down the block and come back. Well, I drove it down the block, and I walked back to get a wrench to open up the brakes so that I could turn the wheels. So luckily we had brought the uh, the wife's car to be able to drag it home. So the guy had a tow bar and everything. So it loaded it up with all the junk, paid the man and took it home. You're good to go. And uh, it's, uh, 64 is one of my favorite years. Uh, this is actually my favorite car out of all the all, folks all, all, that I still own. All your collection. Now you're not camping in this. But yeah, you, oh, yeah, we are. Are you sleeping on the rack or? No, no, under the hood. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna sleep in, in one of Gary's old <laughs> tents, which you can see right behind us. Oh, Gary, yeah. what's the era of that tent? That, is that, that's about probably, I would say about 1980, 82. Really? Like that. Yeah. 
Awesome. Well, Mark, thanks for you and Axel coming out. And I actually saw Axel behind the wheel. So oh yeah, he uh, he drove most of the way out here. That's so awesome. uh, yeah, that was a uh, you know I had to educate him a little more on yeah. when to shift and Good. when to you know how He's to getting there. how to roll up to the stoplight in gear and you know try to hope everybody starts going before you get there. <laughs> there you go. So you don't have to spend all your time shifting. Awesome. But, well, thank you guys for bringing it out. Well, Matt Jackson, we went around and talked to everybody today who's here at the uh, November Fest with no vowels. November Fest with no vowels. November Fest. <laughs> November Fest. Uh, that leaves our buses, but yeah. uh, you've already seen them. I'll put a link to that video right here. Yep. Jerry and Helga. So, yep. uh, But you know what's the coolest thing is, is how laid back this is. Yep. And that the park's really being cool about us just hanging out everywhere. And it's really just actually beautiful weather it's beautiful it's kind of it well it's 85 in november in texas but i know it might be a little warm. but uh thank you guys for joining us and it was so much fun to, uh, thanks to everybody for letting us talk to them about their their buses and their volkswagens today it's pretty cool yep and uh if you like what you're seeing make sure you subscribe yep and make sure you tell your aunts tell your uncles tell everybody you know about vw life because again we do this for who you the vw community oh that's right oh thank we you do. gary <laughs> you thank you Matt Jackson. no i insist oh my pleasure have a great day everybody bye everybody thank y'all Peace. <laughs>